Can you actually have a build that costs over a million simoleons? Well, apparently you can. If you head over to the gallery, click on hashtag and type in FGG million, you get a whole bunch of builds that cost over a million simoleons and we're gonna see just how good these are today. Rest in peace to my frame rate. First build we're gonna be looking at is the Hidden Totems Castle by My Amakes. There are 14 totems scattered on the roofs of this castle representing each of the 14 Disney princesses. Can you find them all? Also, it costs a million and 220,000 simoleons, so like more than a million. The Sims community is actually crazy, and for once I don't mean that in a bad way. If my PC explodes and this is the last thing you hear of me, you know what happened. Oh my god! What? This is absolutely beautiful! It even has bridges going into the entire castle. Oh, hey, Mailbox! How you doing? Oh, man, it's nice to see you. Okay, let us look at these different totems real quick. Let's see if I can recognize them. Definitely the long one, probably Tangled. What's her name? Rapunzel. What are these ones? I can't really discern which one's which. That one is definitely Tiana. Like, it has to be. I don't know what these ones are. Maybe this is Snow White because the apples. I, I'm not entirely sure, but this is absolutely beautiful. So apparently there's not even anything inside. It's just the outside that costs this much, which to me is 10 times more impressive because how do you even get the outside of a house to cost more than a million simoleons? Man, next time I'll say a billion and see what happens. Which one's the mirror mirror on the wall? Wasn't that Snow White? I really should brush up on my skills. That one is Snow White. Then I don't know which one this one is. That one has a bird and I don't remember having a bird princess. That one has a book and to be honest, I can't remember which princesses could read and which ones couldn't so I'm, I'm not gonna be able to guess that one. How do you even- I don't understand how this can cost more than a million simoleons if it's just the exterior. That's amazing! Okay, obviously I like looking at serious builds, but this one is just Baby Yoda, but it still costs over a million simoleons and I just have to know. What did you do? There's something in that Yoda. Okay, so here we have the infamous baby Chewbacca. I don't know how this can cost a million simoleons. I truly do not understand how this works at all. My theory is that somebody has unfortunately stuffed him with something. So I'm gonna have to go in to find out. Okay, listen, Chewbacca, please calm down. I'm a doctor and I have to check your insights. This is standard procedure. I've never done this before. Don't tell him. Okay, and what? A violin? How the fuck is this violin a million simoleons? I- What? I don't understand. How- How? How? Is there something in his head? Do I have to check his head? There's nothing in here. There's nothing in his head. As I suspected, he's dumb as shit and it's empty. Okay, um, well, that- That was interesting. <laughs> Next one we're gonna be looking at is the Super Fancy Restaurant by Hella Nikki. This is the Super Fancy Restaurant. It was built by a guy who wanted to open the most expensive restaurant in history. Unfortunately, he succeeded, which means there are barely any customers. There are businesses like that, isn't there? Where they're like, nobody can afford to eat here and we don't want anybody to afford to eat here because we're rich and I really don't understand. Is it fun to be an asshole? Because I'm starting to think it might be. Oh my god. God, I can just feel how much money was wasted on this. This looks amazing. Look, even the outside is just golden. I know the inside's already gonna overwhelm me. Oh my goodness. Like, if you go to an establishment like this, I don't think I'd actually wanna go in. It feels like they spent all the money on the outside, so I might as well just eat outside. But anyway, look, I can't even get in. Whoa, what a grand entrance. Holy shit. Uh. Look, they even have an ice sculpture, which I never understood the point of because won't it melt? Oh my god, so you, uh, this is, no, this is where the dishes go. This is where the host is. And you're like, hello, I have a lot of money. I'm gonna eat here. And then they let you through unless you're wearing, like, sandals and they won't let you in. Mailbox! Do you work here? Are you eating here? My goodness, what a rich guy. Oh my god, this is just so obnoxious. I love it. They even have, like, these little seating areas. Like, what's the point? You're gonna eat, you're gonna sit where you eat, right? I don't understand rich people. Oh my god, there's even more seating. Eating. There's no way this many people can afford to eat here. Oh my god, look, there are little fish tanks in the windows. Oh my god. Those fish are definitely not real, and if they were real, they're never getting fed. I feel bad for the waiters who actually have to, like, maneuver around this place. It must take forever to get your food. Look how fast! 
I'm going, whoa! Here's the bar so you can get drunk and forget about how much money you absolutely wasted here. What is that? What's this? This is the kitchen. Okay, they have a nice kitchen at least. I thought like, what if like the, the servers get absolutely nothing? And it doesn't look as fancy in here. In fact, it looks quite depressing, but I feel like that's every kitchen. Let's go upstairs. I want to know what upstairs is. Uh, uh, and I hope I don't like bonk my head on this. Oh my God, there's so many more seating areas. There's no way these people can afford to eat here. Like there aren't that many rich people in the world, right? It's only like 1% of the world and they don't live here. Oh my God, this is for like your flexing parties. What's in there? Okay, I'm sorry. This is definitely a treasure chest and I have to open it. It's video game rules. Oh, I bet there's more upstairs. There has to be. Oh, oh no. This is like a fancy area where you order your orange juice and you go and sit here and drink it. I can now see why this costs a million simoleons. Like those curtains are expensive or drapes. What's the difference? Oh my God, they even have pink rooms. Now I can see the appeal of being rich. Oh, a basement. Okay. Yeah, okay. I trust it. Go in the basement, fake gamer girl. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh no, this is actually wholesome. This is just alcohol. Okay, good. I thought it was going to be more dead babies because you guys really love doing that to me. Okay, so this is storage plus alcohol. Uh, wow, I bet all of this is aged at least two months. Look at the fountain in the back. That's so pretty. Wow, I feel entirely intimidated going in there. Well done. <laughs> Next one we're going to be looking at is Beach Town by IFQ5D. A beautiful beach town with multi-floor businesses, a bowling alley, pub, restaurant, cafe, bookstore, movie theater, clothing shop, and hotel. Come hang out at this beach oasis. What the fuck? How even? Okay, let's just look at it before I lose my mind. When are we getting hotels? Just, you know, asking for a friend. All of my friends, actually. Here we are after my frame rate decided to have a panic attack. This is the beach town. Look how beautiful this is. They even made a beachfront, which I think is absolutely adorable. Oh my god. I can like again, this is over a million simoleons. And I can I can see why. Okay, so this is the bowling alley. We'll go in a building at a time. I'm so excited. You guys are so creative. It really upsets me. So here is the bowling alley. Oh yeah. If you want something to be over a million simoleons, you put a bowling alley in. This is so cute. And it feels really beachy at the same time. Oh, oh, what's this? The bathroom doors weren't loading in for some reason. I think because this build is so big, but they went for the most expensive wallpaper. Yeah, I get why. Okay, let's go upstairs. Is there more bowling to be found upstairs? Oh, wouldn't you know? Of course there is. If I went to a beach town though, I don't think I'd be bowling. I think I'd be swimming. How they managed to make such a small thing cost so much is beyond me. Alright, next one we're gonna go in is this one. I think this is a store. I don't know what's telling me that it's a store. Oh, it's a clothing store. Okay, yeah, I didn't come prepared for my vacation at all. So I'm gonna have to buy some heels for when I go swimming. They have fire safety. I'm gonna stay away from these mannequins though because I always think they're gonna snap their heads towards me. Like, that one's looking right at me, and I hate that. And I know he has no eyes, so he can't look right at me, but he is and he can. What's this store? Are they all different stores? Oh, this is the bookstore slash library. I love the color. This pink? Is that purple? Red? What color is this? I like it, though. Man, I could just spend all day in here instead of going swimming. A children's area. Why do they always have a children's area in bookstores and libraries? Like, why are you letting children in? They're so loud. Anyway, one more floor up. Oh, oh, is this a spot? Spa? Oh my god, it's a gym spa. A spa gym. As if swimming wasn't working out enough. This looks like a filming room, like a green screen room. I really like that. They have showers for when you get really fucking stinky because we all know you're stinky as shit. <clears throat> all right, next one. This looks like it's a restaurant purely because there's a burger sign outside. Oh, I like what you did with the carpets. That's really cute, actually. So this is like a little bakery. I guess there are like multiple ones on different floors. Oh, this one's the fat. See one. Okay, this is where I definitely get my peanut butter jelly sandwich is wonderful. And then one more floor is this. Ooh, this is like a cafe. I wonder how they feel like being competing businesses. I wonder how much business goes to the one at the very top floor. Because if I was hungry, I don't think I'd go up the stairs. The second to last one is this. I, I don't really know what this one could be. I don't remember what our options were. But it is a building, which is good to know. It's a good starting point. Oh. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this the movie?
movie theater? This is a movie theater, isn't it? I, I actually don't remember what this is. Okay, let's go up. All the posters tell me it's a movie theater. What's what's in here? This is like a cool movie theater. This isn't like a regular one. This is like a themed one. I've never even seen like a un... Oh, no, this one feels more normal. I've never seen like an unconventional movie theater before. And also, if you're gonna watch a movie, you shut the fuck up. My God, the amount of times I've been to movie theaters and people just won't stop talking and it's like, is this a talking theater? No, then fuck off. Oh, wow. This is actually really close to the television. Oh, yeah, it is the television, isn't it? But I think there's a small problem with the seating arrangement. Yeah, it happens, though. It's whatever. Finally, we have what I can only assume is the hotel with a bunch of naked cuties outside. All right, I'm here with all of my luggage. Oh, this is fancy. Yes, the, the register is facing towards me, so I guess uh, you pay me so I can go in. Oh, and they've got a nice kitchen. I guess this is like the buffet area as well. Okay, let's find our way to our room, shall we? So all of these are lovely little rooms. Oh my god, I can see where most of the money went. These are really nice bathrooms, by the way. Hotel bathrooms are like heaven, aren't they? Go up one more floor. Oh my god, these rooms are so classy. I wouldn't expect this type of room in like a beach town, but you know what? That's just my fault for assuming otherwise. And that was the lovely beach town. This was absolutely amazing. This was so creative and incredibly expensive. Next one we're gonna be looking at is the Million Dollar Mystery by Unlisted Triple Zero. A billionaire's doomsday prepper's abandoned bunker inspired by Fallout, Prey, and Echo. This doesn't look like it costs a million, but apparently it does. I wonder how many really rich people already have apocalypse bunkers and we have no idea about it. Because if we knew about it, we'd try and join in, you know? That reminds me, I should probably have an apocalypse bunker, but I can't really afford one. I'll just get a shovel and dig as deep as I can. <coughs> in we go! Well, everybody, welcome to Johnny Zest's new residence. Oh my god, this looks so unassuming. Of course a millionaire would have a bunker in here. Now I just want to go to every trailer park I see and see if there's a million dollars under there. All right, so I am role-playing as Elon Musk today, and I'm going to find my way inside. Oh my god, this is very cramped. Okay, this is my bed, as you can see, very wonderful. Oh, oh, look, hidden door. Okay, and this leads downstairs. This looks very dangerous. I really really don't want to go in. Sometimes you guys make this game feel like a horror game. Okay. Oh, this is a bunker if I've ever seen one. Ooh. Okay. And sorry if my movements are very janky. If I press once on the W key, I go very fast. So I, I can only look at this in jolts. I'm sorry, but oh my God. Why is it dirty though? I guess because it's abandoned at the moment. Oh my God. Imagine living the apocalypse like this. Who are you inviting for dinner, by the way? Oh, and then they have live entertainment. Okay. So everybody lives with this guy. Ooh, this is a nice kitchen as well. Wait, how the fuck are you stocking this fridge in the apocalypse? I don't want to know. It's definitely cannibalism. Oh, look, this is all the storage of non-perishable beef jerkies. Wow. There's an even more downstairs, and I don't know if I'm ready for that. Laundry room? Wow, this guy really thought of everything. I guess that's what money gives you. It gives you a big brain. Oh, are these all the bedrooms? Yeah. Oh my god, look, they even have a fake outdoors, and this guy seems to be kind of ill. That's kind of sad. I I hope he's okay. And he's got a gaming setup. He's fine. What are the bathrooms like? Oh, oh, this is a nice bathroom. Holy shit. And he's got a TV. Wait, where are you even getting signal from in the apocalypse? Loki really want to role play in this, in this house now. Oh my God. Uh, the bed is missing, but that's fine. Well, let's go extra downstairs now. Oh, that looks actually kind of creepy. What is this? Oh, they have a fake beach. Oh my God. He really thought of everything. Wow. It's kind of dingy and disgusting. It's not the nicest beach, if I'm completely honest, but he tried. Even a fake sun. How depressing. That's crazy. What's even downstairs? -er? My god, this place needs a fucking elevator. That's the only thing it's missing. What is this? Oh, is this like a rec room? This is crazy. Holy shit. This is so creative, actually. Wow. And a bar. What's in here? A movie theater. Because why the fuck wouldn't you have a movie theater? My god, you and plus there's 
so many movies out now, you'd probably never run out. And the sauna, my fucking god. I think this is my favorite one of today. And you look outside at the pool and shit. Wow. And these are just bathrooms, I assume. I hope that when the apocalypse happens, not if I can have a lot of money so I can recreate this build block by block. And you know, if you made this build, I'll invite you purely because of copyright. Also, how's it going? Last build we're gonna be looking at today is the Ice Crystal Palace by Miss Valren. Move over, Elsa. This is an ice castle. Anyway, this is for the Fake Gamer Girl Challenge. Hope you all enjoy. Not playtested because I'm tired. Listen, none of my builds are playtested. Mostly because playing this game tests my patience. <laughs> Please help. Oh my god. First of all, this place is going to melt in this Delso Valley sun. But oh my god, look at the path up. There's, huh, those are for amateurs. This is amazing. Okay, that's a bit creepy. So uh, I like it. Let's go in. I'm actually so excited. I love themed builds like this. All right, I have my coat on. Whoa. Okay, first of all, uh, blue lighting. Hi, I love when people play with the lighting. This is amazing. Holy heck, what's in here? Bedrooms. Okay, this place literally looks freezing. Even though there is no ice in this room, it literally looks cold. So I totally get it. This is a place where you flex. I don't know why millionaire houses don't look like this in real life. Like, why wouldn't you have a themed house? Oh my god, this is like a ballroom? Okay, wow. Are these real crystals or are they fake? Also have the lovely crystal fireplace. You know what? You have a theme and you stick to it and I absolutely love that. I want to know what's through that door. That looks like a throne room type of door, doesn't it? How's it going, guys? Oh, wow. They, they really know how to put a smile on your face. Yep, throne room. Called it. Wow. Okay. Uh, I hope that seat has a fucking seat warmer. With the blah, blah, blah. I hope that seat has a seat warmer or else I'm going to be very uncomfortable because yes, this is my throne. This is my house now. You guys wanted a house tour and you know what? You're getting it. Let's go upstairs. I'm very curious as to what's upstairs. This is a nice hallway, by the way. Oh, they did the thing. They did the thing with the, the fish in the windows. Wow. I need to start doing that. That's really cool. Oh, piano room. Oh, no. It's a bedroom with a piano. Oh, wow, that, that like that literally uh, blah, blah, blah. wow, I can't speak. What's over here? <gasps> Balcony. Oh my god, there's snow on the fucking trees. How'd you do that? This is amazing. I'm gonna cry. All right, what's in here? It's a library. Oh my god, so you can read books. Oh, thank god I know how to read this time. And what uh, there's even more upstairs. Okay, even more books. Holy shit. Okay, I can't read this much, guys. Come on, this is ridiculous. Look, even more to the point that the game is breaking. And a portal. This place has it all. I also forgot to check this room downstairs. I don't want to miss anything. Oh my god, that is so cool. How do you guys get those like light thingies like that? Oh my god, and it's like in a whirlpool of magic. This is amazing. Okay, now I definitely know what my future house is gonna look like when I'm a fucking billionaire. This is amazing. I have nothing witty to say. It's just beautiful. I mean, look at this. Look at the border of snow. What even is that how do you even get these items i cannot i am absolutely bewildered this was a cool build <laughs> get it <laughs> Oh, no. Those were all the builds that I could look at today, but please check out this hashtag. There's some really amazing builds. Like, wait, where is it? Where is it? There was one. Ducky, how is that? Oh, 